It's going to take a Herculean effort, right? It's going to take all of God's strength. It's going to take all the resources we can put together to fight this fight. Okay? We are, we are up against quite a powerful enemy. People in our neighborhoods have been dying from this stuff for 20, 30 years. And, you know, I try not to be controversial. I try to just, let's get the message. Let's talk about the solution. But, you know, when people in my neighborhood were dying, it didn't seem to be a big deal. You know, it just seemed like that's what happens in the hood, you know. And, uh, and then it started to branch out and it started to hit all these communities. In Massachusetts, there have been some huge things going on around opioid addiction and, uh, and, you know, with legislation and finding money for treatment and doing all these things. And I want to tell you that it's because of people like you, but in particular, it's the people who have paid the ultimate price, the people who have lost their loved ones, who have been chasing the governor around like he owed them money, right? They're everywhere. Every time I see the governor making an announcement that he's doing something else, I see people that are now my friends, people that I love and care about, standing next to him. And I know that they're the people that are pushing and pushing and pushing. And so um, I have met some amazing people along this journey, some people who are, they're bound together um, from their pain and they have taken that pain and they have gone out into the world to make a difference. And when I tell you they are making a difference, uh, it's, a, it's an understatement. I'm in awe of these people. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm so proud and honored to call them my friends. And, you know, when sometimes we do these in public buildings and public settings, I don't get to start with a little prayer. But here, they won't kick me out, thank God. Right? They won't shut me down. So I just wanna, I just wanna ask God um, to, to watch over us all, to bless us all, and to bless those that are chasing that, that drug tonight. You know, we, we ask God to, to watch over them and to, uh, and to strengthen them, to guide them, and to hopefully lead them into a situation where they can get the help that they need. Um, and that their loved ones um, continue to pray for them and continue to be strong because this is, at this point, completely out of control. And I also want to acknowledge Recovery Centers of America who are coming to Massachusetts in a major way. Um, and they're going to have about almost 400 beds before the end of the summer. That's 400 new recovery beds. I want to say that, that treatment works, right? But I also want to say in my personal view that any solution that doesn't include God I, you know, it, I guess it's possible, right? But I just feel like if, it, if the solution doesn't include God and, and it's not in spiritual in nature, I just feel like you're making it more difficult. It's the whole world is pushing our children in the direction, right? You don't feel right, take a pill. You know, you don't look right, go throw up. If you know, you know, like it's just, so this, we're, we're against this, this, this force. Um, you know, last night we did a screening and, um, we got there early and, uh, this mom and her son came up to me and her son was 13 years old and they said, hi. And we had a little bit of small talk and then the son pulled out an envelope and said, here, I have something for you. And he gave it to me and he walked away and I walked away and I opened it up and there was a little piece of paper and wrapped in the little piece of paper was $10. This five dollar bill and five ones in this letter that I'd like to read to you. It says, Dear James Wahlberg, I think it's great that you're informing teens on drugs as it is a rising threat. I want to speak out against this problem. I have already donated money to various drug prevention found foundations such as Teen Challenge. 
I would be glad to help your foundation and it would be my honor if you would get in touch with me so that I could help with this cause. Matthew Walsh, 13 years old, Plymouth, Massachusetts. Um, I'm not sure if this letter is ever going to leave my pocket. You know, we have to attack this thing from all fronts, right? So we need our politicians, our police officers, our pastors, our priests, our rabbis, our doctors, our school teachers, our social workers, everybody. We need everybody's help, right, to fight this thing. And, uh, but when it's all said and done and the parents go home or go do what they do and the teachers and the, but the kids are still together, right? And if we can get to some of these young people and have them talking to each other and mentoring each other and ministering to each other about the dangers, um, it's going to, it's going to help a lot. You know, it's going to help a lot. I also need everybody really to know that, um, the funeral scene. So the funeral scene we shot, it was the first day of the biggest, the big snowstorms of last year. We had 10 feet of snow. And so uh, my friend Louise Griffin started to make some calls and then some newspapers started to hear about it and, and word kind of got out. And, um, and like 250 people that lost loved ones showed up to the church to be in the funeral scene. And, um, you know, when you're doing the work, you kind of lose sight of, it, I'm just trying to do work. I'm just trying to make a movie, right? So I'm thinking about the guy with the lights and the guy with the sound and the guy with the script. And I kind of lost sight of what we were doing and the story we were telling until we were shooting that scene in the church. And I looked and they were bringing the coffin up the aisle. And it occurred to me at that moment that all the people in the room had been to a funeral just like this to bury their brother, their sister, their child, their niece, their nephew. And it, it overwhelmed me. And there's some people here in the room that were there that day. And, uh, you know, I said, hey, we can stop right now. Let's, you know, we can talk, we can hug, we can pray, we can do whatever you want. We're in no rush. And... Um, each one of them, each one of them said, no, we knew what we were here for. We knew what we were in store for, but we need to be out here. We need to help people. We need to make, help other families so they don't have to do this, right? That they don't have to suffer like we're suffering. And um, it was on that day that I knew that I had just made 250 new friends, right? And there was 250 new people that I would add to my prayer list. And, um, and I've traveled with some people in this room and we've been places together and we've shown the film and we have, people have given their testimonies and uh, it's been very, very powerful and very emotional.